The UK announced plans to ban disposable vape sales this week in an attempt to curb a rising trend in youth vaping. The move mirrors efforts in other countries and US states. We have teachers calling us, especially in the UK, where you saw a 150% increase in the last three years of uptake of e-cigarettes by children, right? So they call us to say children cannot stay a whole 45-minute lesson anymore because they need to step out to get, you know, e-cigarettes. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's latest legislative push targets tobacco's appeal to kids. It includes a ban on flavored tobacco, mandates plain packaging, and imposes fines on shops that sell illegally to children. The proposal also aims to reduce the impact on the environment. In 2023, a reported 260 million disposable vapes were thrown away. The UK Environment Secretary saying that's equivalent to 5,000 electric vehicle batteries. The children shouldn't be vaping. We don't want them to get addicted. We still don't understand the full long-term health impacts of vaping. So it's right that we take strong action to stamp this out. That's what we're doing. Banning disposable vapes, taking powers to go after the flavors, the appearance, the packaging where vapes are displayed in stores. This initiative is a key part of a broader strategy to achieve a smoke-free status by 2030. Last year, Sunak first announced an ambitious tobacco control strategy. Under this proposed legislation, anyone born on or after January 1st, 2009 will be legally prohibited from ever buying any tobacco product. This approach will incrementally increase the legal age for purchasing tobacco each year until it applies to the whole population, making England the second country behind New Zealand to introduce similar measures though New Zealand has since reversed its policy. I respect that some people would disagree with me on this, but again, I think this is the right long-term thing for our country. Smoking causes one in four cancer deaths. It's responsible for a hospital admission every minute. And if we don't do something about it, hundreds of thousands of people will die in the coming years. Sunak says the ban still has to be introduced and approved by parliament. The measures are expected to pass.